Hello, I'm Gemma and this is Nonfic Books and I have a review for Nonfiction November and that is Laurie Penny's Bitch Doctrine, Essays for Dissenting Adults. This was published this year by Bloomsbury Circus and is 370 pages long. Um, as it says by the title, it is an essay collection. Um, I came across this because I read one of Laurie Penny Penny's articles which somehow came up on my Twitter feed. Um, all about the sort of sexual abuse scandals that are going on at the moment and I found it so sort of moving and true that I just immediately went and bought this her most recent book. There is a, another one called Unspeakable Things that I will probably pick up after having read this. Laurie Penny is a writer, she's an activist and a feminist and she has her own blog which I will link down below but she also writes for Vice, The Guardian and The New Statesman among others. So she is fierce, that's something I absolutely love and this essay collection is sort of split into eight sections. Starting off looking at the US election and it's not too surprising to say that she is totally anti-Trump um, and then it goes on to things like love, gender, culture, agency, violence, backlash and the future. Um, and I thought this was a really sort of nice wide-ranging mix of essays obviously from a very feminist and activist viewpoint. I really enjoyed Laurie Penny's writing, I found her very easy to read, I like the sort of fierceness, she does not apologise for having strong opinions and she is not afraid to sort of call out injustice where she sees it. My only slight criticism with her writing is I think there's a couple of places where she makes vast oversimplifications and sort of comparisons that I don't personally agree with and I think it would be even her writing would be richer if she sort of ascribed to people who she disagreed with more complex motives and argued against them rather than just arguing against some of the most sort of simplistic reasons why people may vote in a different way to her or do things like nominate Trump. So uh, I thought that was very very interesting overall even though I thought at points it what she what her writing wasn't perfect. The one thing I really like from the sort of feminist argument in this is how inclusive she is towards trans people and people who don't fall in specifically to the gender binary of male and female because I think it's quite a big problem area in feminism and I definitely disagree with Jermaine Greer and other sort of older school feminists on sort of they are quite anti-trans people generally and I much prefer, prefer newer wave, more inclusive attitudes like that of Laura Penny. Overall I had a slight problem with this collection because I thought it needed editing a bit more. Um, each essay is good in itself but there are not just underlying themes but points where it becomes repetitive where she is using the same um, figures and facts against arguments but they're just essays written from a slightly different angle all about a very very similar thing and I think there were probably you could probably lose five or six essays throughout this and it would still do exactly what it does I think there was a little bit of repetitiveness there which this could have done without but overall I really liked this book I like hearing very fierce young voices I like when someone isn't afraid to make mistakes um, and I do really like where Laurie Penny is coming from even though we don't agree with anything on anything of course we agree on some stuff we don't agree on everything so I thought this was a really good essay collection I'm not normally the biggest fan of essay collections but things um, like feminism I think it's a great way of sort of addressing a number of different topics and I really would recommend checking her out if you're unsure whether this is for you please do go through and read maybe an article or two on her blog and um, I would recommend this for both men and women I, I think the trouble with very many feminist books is that they tend to only be read by women and especially women who already ascribe to feminism so I think it would be great to get more of a wide range of people reading books like this because I think even if you disagree it is always good to be challenged on your viewpoint. I really like this, if you've got any recommendations that are a bit similar please leave them down below because at the moment I am just all about the feminist books and I'm having to try and rein myself in throughout non-fiction November and actually read a couple of other things but give me, give me the titles, titles you love, any sort of thing um, please leave them down below and I will hopefully see you in a video soon. Bye!